Drawing digitally has its challenges. There's that camera bump. It's a lot thicker than a sheet of piece of paper. How do you move it around comfortably? And then there's the drawing off the tablet thing. We need to fix these things. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. This episode's sponsor, PCBWay, offers advanced printed circuit boards for industrial applications such as medical, automotive, telecom, and computer manufacturing. That's right, up to 64 layer boards are possible. They can even meet strict quality UL certifications. Click the link in the description to get your next project started. Big or small, PCBWay can help. I was inspired by some of these sketchboards that I saw online, and there was even one on Kickstarter that was relatively successful. Now the thing that these don't have is the ability to stand up your digital tablet so that you can use it as a monitor, and I have to have that. If I draw on paper, I use a stack that's about a millimeter and a half thick. The iPad is 5.9 millimeters thick. That's what Apple says on its website, but that's deceptive. It's totally not true. As a matter of fact, it's over eight millimeters thick, almost a centimeter thick. As I do with any other project, I apply a little design thinking, figure out what it is that I want, design it, sketch it up so we have a plan. Let's take that drawing and translate it into some CAD data in Fusion 360 so that we can build a nice prototype and test out our concept. I'm going to laser cut all the parts out of foam core and poster board, and then we're going to stack those up and glue them together to make our prototype. That cheesecloth really didn't work out as well as I had planned. Let's make some better hinges. And let's add some gription to the corner pads so the whole thing can stand up.
the actual tablet sits up a little bit proud of the foam core. So we're going to stack up some sheets of poster board and we're also going to use this to help encapsulate and hold the tablet in place so that it doesn't fall out of the stand. So, how does the whole thing work as a sketching tablet at this point? Pretty good. I'm happy with the additional ledge beyond the edge of the tablet. It gives me something for my palm to rest on and not fall off, and the pencil doesn't slide off the edge. It makes it really nice and comfortable to draw. So ergonomically, this is a really big, subtle improvement. It worked out so good that Chris wanted one for her pixel slate, so I made her one, of course. She loves it. Now on hers, we used some ribbon for the hinges. Much more durable than my paper, and it's gonna last a lot longer. Now as an added bonus, which I never really considered until I started using it, is that this stand also works really good for like sitting on your couch and watching a YouTube video or even in bed. So I'm really happy with that extra sort of bonus feature. I've added some color in the bottom corners so I know which is up and which is down. Very happy. I don't have any plans at this time to take it into production. I would consider licensing it, but for me, it's just a tool to be more productive and efficient and comfortable in my design workflow. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hey, and don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook sometimes, Twitter usually, and now Instagram. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.